you know, it's definitely gone by really, really fast. And, um, you know, I've just really enjoyed my time being here and, you know, working with Coach Clark. She's done a lot for me. What uh, what do you think she's meant, not only in terms of the wins and losses, but what, what Blair has meant to the program? Uh, God, I don't know. I could give you a really long answer. I, I mean, obviously, she's tremendous in the circle. Um, you know, she, I think, it, you know, I kept getting questions through the years. Um, you know, first when we graduated, Krista Williams are like, oh, gosh, when are you going to get the next Krista Williams? When's she going to be in? And. You know, I remember saying, well, you know, they, they don't, those at that level don't come along all the time. And then here you, here comes along Cat Osterman. And obviously we got that question presented again, when's the next cat going to come in? And then along comes Blair Luna. And I, I put her in that same category with those other two young women. And obviously that's very good company uh, to be putting uh, Blair in. But she deserves it. I think she's been so significant for us and you know filling shoes like those two shoes are, are difficult and uh, she's she's done amazing things in the circle but I love working with her in the bullpen I mean I'm just a great personality and um, you know just fun we just have fun in the bullpen and she's just as you can see I mean just very low-key and um, what you see is what you get but uh, I'm really really gonna miss this one you know Blair does that also uh, sink in as much as anything else the time that you spend working with your teammates the time you spend working with coach Clark in the bullpen that that that's as rewarding and some people might, might not understand this that's as rewarding as coming up with a big performance in the game or getting a big win that time that you spend getting a chance to work together and what it means to you yeah it is um, you know it's, it's a process and we we take a lot of time to kind of work through things and you know, just the time spent as a team and, and with Coach Clark, I think that's something that has helped us, you know, be successful in this program. One other thing that comes to mind is that Coach Clark was talking about uh, Krista Williams and Kat Osterman and I remember what the impact that they had on the program. Your situation, I think, is even more unique because you're a local, mm -hmm. you know, having, having <laughs> uh, played at high school at Bowie. What, did you feel more responsibility because of local? And I know, Connie, I always hear this about coaches saying it's a double-edged sword when you take a highly recruited, highly touted local student athlete because there's that extra thing. Uh, but, but let me start with you, Blair, and what it, what it has meant being local coming from high school in Austin to pitching for Texas and what, what that impact has been made on you. Um, you know, it's meant a lot to me just getting so much support, especially my family and, you know, being able to see my dad up in the stands. I think that's something that's kind of meant a lot to me. Um, but I, I wouldn't say so much pressure. You know, I wasn't really recruited really, like a whole lot out of high school. So like coming in, I didn't really have that much pressure on me. I didn't, you know, I just kind of went in there with I don't have anything to lose kind of mentality. I was kind of under the radar. Connie, what about the, about the 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 extra? I guess it's uh, like I said, the double-edged sword. I hear coaches talk about about a, a, a local student athlete and what a local student athlete can mean to the program. But there's also that expectation of a right. local kid being in your program. Well, I think Blair's right. I think the expectations for her actually were her sophomore year after she had such a great freshman campaign for us. But um, I go back to. Um, the rec thinking through the recruiting process with, with Blair, um, Andy Cantu, who was my very first volunteer coach back in the day when we played out at the East Austin Youth Complex, um, you know, worked with Blair as her pitching coach. And I remember him, you know, continuing to tell me, uh, you know, each year, hey, I got this young one I'm working with, you know, and she's in eighth grade and she's coming up. And obviously she played for Kathy jo Johnson Landers, who played for me here at Texas and is now st and still coaching at Bowie. And so I had those those people in my ear. And, you know, we certainly had Blair on our radar screen, although, yeah, she was very much under the radar. And I'm glad, although I hope she would have come to Texas regardless of who was knocking on her door. But I, I, she's never really presented um, anything in regards to a double-edged sword of, of extra pressure being someone local. If anything, it's really helped raise the bar um, for, I think, people that want to emulate Blair Luna. And, you know, the area of Austin and Central Texas is now coming up from a, a recruiting standpoint. And, you know, Dallas and Houston have been hot so long with so many great young athletes. But somebody like Blair being a local from Central Texas area can really get, um, you know, younger pitchers and younger athletes excited. And we've really seen that level come up. And I, I think anytime you have a local athlete, that, you know, certainly helps the cause. Blair, in addition to what we talked about with your teammates and with Coach Clark helping you grow as a pitcher, what about your time at Texas and what that has done to help you grow 
as a student and as a person, the, the, the growing up process, so to speak, coming from high school and your time spent at UT? Um, you know, I think it's it's been a process. Me and Coach Clark actually had a conversation about this the other day in the bullpen. Um, and I kind of asked her, you know, the difference from me from freshman year to now. And I think um, we kind of both agreed that I'm a lot more vocal. You know, I was really, really quiet coming in. I kind of just stayed in the back, you know, didn't really like too much attention. So I think I've kind of matured in that aspect of things. You know, uh, an another thing is that People talk about uh, you know what what your best pitch is and and your 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 attitude in the circle and what it means to you, but I hear that you may be a better chess player than you are a pitcher. Is that true? <laughs> I don't know how to play chess, but no, no. <laughs> I'm looking here. It says uh, to, she uh, as phrased it as Blair is more willing to play chess than in the past. Oh, okay. Like poker face. So yes. Like, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. You know. I mean, I, I I don't really like to show emotion, and that's come, kind of something that I've always learned. And you know, just being tough mentally when you're out there and not kind of overthinking things. That's kind of something that I've had to work through throughout the years. And you know, this year I think that's something that I'm I've improved on a lot. And that's where I was going to go with this. Do you you feel that you were much more emotional in that and when you? first started out and a lot of that has to do with youth as opposed to not that you're an old person now but a few years in the books now that you're a little more controlled in terms of what emotion you show in the circle um i wouldn't say i show it i'd say mentally just thinking overthinking things and not having confidence in certain pitches and you know maybe overthinking the batter and maybe pitching too scared sometimes. I think that's something that I've kind of had to work through. Is that one of the things, Connie, that did, not only that you work with, but that you've seen her grow and mature and develop over time to be able to develop that? Because that's, I, I know, is a, is a big quality for a pitcher to have. Yeah, absolutely. I think she's had a poker face since day one, to be honest. I mean, she's just not that emotional, you know, in your face type of pitcher. I mean, it goes with her personality, obviously. Um, you know, somebody that's very humble and, and a great teammate and those types of things. So, you know, really playing chess for her means and, and where she's really improved is you know, going into three-game series and maybe showing showing the hitter something a little bit different or setting up a little bit different on day two or day three as compared to day one. And, um, you know, I th obviously she actually went all three games for us this past weekend in, in Stillwater. And, you know, certainly, uh, although we came away with two losses, I mean, she did her part in keeping us in and gave us every opportunity to uh, win all three, quite honestly. But she was a little bit different each day and, um, you know, showed them things on day three that baffled them. Them. And that's something that, you know, she's worked towards from from her freshman year and I think is the piece that's going to help us get to the Women's College World Series.